stretching is dead. Enjoy the video. Welcome to Bob Body. My name is Dieter, and today we're shooting again from the south of Spain where the sun shines 320 days a year. Today's not one of them. I got news for you stretching is dead. More about that inside. Stretching is dead. Well, stretching in its traditional way because there's much more efficient ways to get a bigger range of motion of your muscle than with passive stretching. And we're gonna do a whole series of videos about that coming up soon. Um, but before we get in depth in the stretching um, matter, I have to explain a little bit of theory. Now, your body, everybody's body, has the amazing ability to adapt to its environment. So if the environmental situation changes, your body adapts. Okay, that's why we survived for millions of years on this planet already. Now, the environmental situation of the people, of most of the people, is just sitting down for 11 hours a day. I'm gonna give you an example. You get out of your bed, you have breakfast, sitting down. You get up, you shower, you put your clothes on, you sit in your car to work, sitting down. You get out of your car, you sit behind your desk till noon where you have lunch, sitting down. You continue working, you might wanna go for a smoke break, I would quit that by the way, but then afterwards you're sitting down again. Drive home, sitting down. If you have a little bit of quality time with your family behind the TV, you do that sitting down. If you're gonna go for a bike ride, even that you do sitting down. And then you go to bed and your day is over. So 11 hours out of the 14 active day hours, because the rest of the hours you're sleeping, you're sitting down and your body will adapt to that. How does it adapt to that? It will shorten the muscles that are only half extended while you're sitting there and the other muscles will lose their strength, lose their volume, you will get atrophy of those muscles. Now, you can't compensate that by 15 minutes of stretching a day because the 11 hours of sitting is what's gonna determine the environment that your body is gonna adapt to, not those 15 minutes of stretching. Now guys, after a set of bicep curls for instance, it's okay to put the muscle back in its natural length to make sure that it doesn't stay in a caught position by doing a little bit of stretching also for the finger flexors to, get, to give it its natural length back. But it's not, will not change the length of the muscle. You won't create a longer muscle by doing some passive stretching. So for instance on the hamstring, if you're doing this for half a minute, what are you basically doing neurologically your brain feels that there's a pull and that it's a constant tension and what it will do is it will give in, it will let the muscle relax a little more and little by little you will be able to go a little bit longer. So it's a passive elongation of your muscle. Just because your brain releases a little bit of muscle tone, it lowers the muscle tone and you're able to go a little bit further. Yeah, That's why after half a minute you get further than the first five seconds. But that is just temporary. It's not gonna change in a physical way the length of your muscle. Your muscle is not gonna grow longer by doing this stretch. There is a better way to increase your flexibility or the range of motion of your muscles so you can work it over a longer range. How do you do that? Now before I explain that, you have to know that your body adapts to changing circumstances, like I said before. That's how hypertrophy works. If you give your bicep, for instance, a hard task that it almost can't perform, it will adapt to it through little micro trauma that will give you muscle soreness, then this micro trauma will heal over the period of two days and your muscle grows a little bit. Now, if you make sure that this muscle growth happens when your muscle is working at the end of its range, you also give it the command that it has to be able to perform better at the end range, at the limit of its flexibility. So with the Romanian deadlift, for instance, your hamstrings is being pulled really hard at the limit of its flexibility and it feels it's not made for that. So what command do you give it to repair, to grow stronger, but also to grow in a more flexible way at a bigger range of motion? So by doing eccentric exercises, and you focus on the eccentric part, for instance, going slowly down into your Romanian deadlift and really pushing it to the limit of your flexibility, of your range of motion, 
your body will repair in a full way, you will get stronger and you will get more flexible because you get a structural change in your muscle and that structural change keeps in, takes into consideration the length you have worked it in. So the delayed command where you repair overnight will be getting stronger in a big range of motion. Another point we have to take into consideration is that a lot of tight muscles are tight because they are doing overwork. They're compensating for an imbalance in a joint. So they're trying to creating a balance in a joint where the muscles that normally create the balance are not doing their job. That's a little bit technical, but I'll give you an example. So a lot of people have a tight IT band. The IT band is where the tensor fascia lata goes into the IT band and they are tight because the glutes are not doing their job. Because when the glutes don't do their job, the knee will drop in, the tibia fibra will drop in and you will lose the arch in your foot. Now, where normally you have, you grip the floor, you arch your foot, your bone is nice on top of your foot, your knee is a little bit more externally rotated and you're standing stable. Now, if your glutes don't do the job, this muscle and the IT band has to do overtime. So a lot of people are spending hours and hours foam rolling the IT band, massaging, stretching, and it gets better just after, but the next day it's the same shit all over again. So first you have to fix your posture. You have to go to the root cause, train up your glutes, make sure you're standing in the right posture using the right muscles before you try to fix the symptoms, which is the tight muscle. Now, so this was the first theory video of our stretching is that series. We're gonna shoot a lot more videos and we'll show you techniques how to release the tension and to increase the range of motion in the pecs, for instance, because short pecs pull the shoulders front and cause a lot of shoulder problems. Also about the lats and surely also about the hamstrings because short hamstrings cause a lot of problems in the hip and in the lower back. Um, so stay tuned. Please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.